Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody had asked me a question which is directly fitting to this verse and to this purport from Queen Kunti's prayers which is there in the first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, 8th chapter, 20, 23rd verse. Okay, so the other day somebody had asked me a question that how do we go closer to God? Yes, 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 that was the question. It's a million dollar question, you see. Apart from all the spiritual practices, apart from by doing all those practices, I mean, is there some way by which we can go closer to God more fast, <laughs> faster, fastest? <laughs> so we'll see what Queen Kunti wants us to learn from this verse, okay? So there you go. This is the Bhagavad Gita playlist in which I have inserted the Queen Kunti's prayers. They are very important, in my opinion, <laughs> because they set the right tone and the right mood for learning the Gita and then understanding Lord Krishna's position and the proper mood. Okay, so if you have not watched the earlier videos in this playlist, then please go and watch it. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know how to go close to God. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope or any area of your life, then you can always go to my website to book a reading. You will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below. And before I begin, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and now he will be closer. <laughs> Dialogue changed. <laughs> Okay, so Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 8th Chapter, 23rd Verse, okay, 1.8.23. Yatha Rishi Keshena Khalena Devaki, the word Devaki is coming here, Kunti Devi is speaking about Devaki now. Kamasena Rudhachatitram Sucharpita Vimochitaham Chasatamajo Vibho Tyaiva Nathena Muhur Vipadganath Vipadganath <laughs> from a series of dangers. So the translation is, O Rishikesh here. So who is Rishikesh here? Yes, Lord Krishna himself. Master of the senses. O Rishikesh, master of the senses and lord of lords. You have released your mother, Devaki, who was long imprisoned and distressed by the envious king Kamsa. Kans in Hindi as they say. And me and my children from a series of constant dangers. I will repeat. You have released your mother Devaki who was long imprisoned and distressed by the envious king Kamsa. Devaki. And me and my children from a series of constant dangers. My God. So what she is basically telling here. She is telling to Lord Krishna that you have released your mother also. We know very well that when Devaki and Vasudev, who are Krishna's uh, parents, they got married, then there was a celestial voice from the skies, which is known as Akashvani, that, Oh, Kamsa, you are a fool. The eighth, eighth child of Devaki will be the cause of your death. And when Kamsa heard it, he said, I will kill Devaki. Devaki was his sister. But... Vasudev, Devaki's husband, Vasudev said that, don't worry, I will not let this happen. Whenever she gives birth to a child, I will just give it to you. I will hand it over to you. But do not kill Devaki. That's not good. And Vasudev was such a great personality that Kamsa, although he was a demon, but Kamsa had full faith in Vasudev and his words. So, Kamsa said, okay, I will spare the life of Devaki and provided you give me all the child one by one, okay. So, then the first child was born and then they handed over it to Kamsa and then Kamsa said, oh, this is such a small child, baby child, cute child, what will he do? Take him back. And then Narad Muni appeared one day. Narad Muni, he appeared and said, Oh, suppose if I take a circle and I put eight dots there, 
how do you know which one is the first or which one is the eighth so basically Narabuni told him that anybody can be the eighth child that was his meaning of force or basically he mean that he meant that anybody could come and kill you now somebody may think that Narad Muni is such a great uh, he's a great spiritual master he's the spiritual master of Maharishi Vyas who is the author of all these scriptures so why in the universe is Narad Muni instigating Kamsa to kill Krishna's elder brothers well the answer is very simple because when Kamsa would do that as in Hindi they say no, that Pap ka ghada bhar gaya it means the quantity of sin which he uh, needed to perform to die that would have been completed okay that much karma would have uh, he would have committed that many uh, sinful activities like killing and then Lord Krishna would finally appear and then what would happen is Kamsa would be liberated so it was actually for the benefit of the universe and for Kamsa's benefit also that uh, Narad Muni was suggesting this and then Kamsa one by one he started killing okay and of course we know that story on Janmashtami how Krishna was born finally so here it's written that you have released your mother Devaki who was long imprisoned and distressed by the envious king Kamsa and then finally Krishna goes and kills Kamsa yes in Mathura when he goes to Mathura so that is what is said here that you have released your mother now when we read the purport we will understand what she is actually meaning when she says this okay so it's very important to read the purport always Devaki the mother of Krishna and the sister of Kamsa was put into prison along with her husband Vasudev Vasudev is father of Krishna and Krishna is known as Vasudev which means son of Vasudev okay it's a double A so don't confuse was put into prison along with her husband Vasudev. Devaki was put into prison because the envious king was afraid of being killed by Devaki's eighth son, Krishna. He killed all the sons of Devaki who were born before Krishna. But Krishna escaped the danger of the child slaughter because he was transferred to the house of Nanda Maharaj, Lord Krishna's foster father. Kunti Devi along with her children was also saved from a series of dangers my god i will give the list of dangers very soon in this video but kunti devi was shown far more favor because lord krishna did not save the other children of devaki where else he saved the children of kunti devi so it said here that krishna favored kunti more than he had favored his own mother okay because Devaki's all her sons were killed except for Krishna I mean except for him and Balramji of course but in case of Kunti none of her sons were killed except Karna of course but that was his decision that he fights on the side of the Kuru so when he says that none of his her sons were killed she he she actually means the Pandavas okay I mean the author here means the Pandavas, the five Pandavas, Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul and Sedev. And this was done, it's written here, this was done because Devaki's husband Vasudev was living. Where else Kunti Devi was a widow because Pandu had left his body long back when they were in the forest. Okay. The conclusion. Ha, see it's written here this was done because Devaki's husband Vasudev was living where else Kunti, Kunti Devi was a widow and there was none to help her except Krishna so if Krishna would have killed the Pandavas also then Kunti Devi would have nobody left <laughs> because she was already a widow so it's like Krishna is favoring her but in case of his mother his father was alive so Krishna is like okay you have Vasudev at least <laughs> 
the conclusion is that krishna endows more favor to a devotee who is in greater dangers sometimes he puts his pure devotees in such dangers because in that condition of helplessness the devotee becomes more attached to the lord here is the answer to the question the more the attachment is there for the lord the more success is there for the devotee should i repeat the more the attachment is there for the lord the more success is there for the devotee my god okay so i told you that i will give the list kunti devi along with her children was also saved from a series of dangers so which is the first danger that the pandavas were saved of course krishna sometimes directly saved them like in case of draupadi and in case of kurukshetra war and in some cases he indirectly did it through people like bhishma drona vidura yes these they are also great personalities mahatma vidur in fact the word mahatma is coined only to vidur we all know who vidur is vidur is the uh, step brother of dhritarashtra and pandu of course so the first time when krishna had protected the pandavas was when they were very 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 young at that time duryodhana dushasana and all these kauravas they had attempted to poison bhima okay and they had fed him poison actually and then later on he went down and then he went to that place where kunti's one of her ancestors were present there so he was known as mata mahi yes we all know that great soul and then he gave lots of celestial liquor to him it's not liquor actually in layman's terms you can call it or you can say celestial cold drinks <laughs> and then when bhima drank it he became very 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 strong he slept for many 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 days it, it is said after drinking that juice okay <laughs> heavenly juice and after sleeping for many days when he woke up he was feeling so powerful inside because the snakes had bit him there when he had gone down and because his body already had poison so the snakes poison kind of neutralized it and he came back into consciousness and then he drank this celestial uh, this nectar okay and he they say he had strength of 1000 or 10000 elephants after he drank that so this is what happens you see when you try to do harm to a great soul that will backfire on to you only so duryodhana wanted to kill bhima but bhima became millions of times more stronger than he was okay and then of course when they plan to burn them in lakshagra when duryodhana shakuni dushasana and karna these four these culprits had arranged for yudhishthir maharaj and the four pandavas including kunti all six of them to go to varnavrat and they will make a palace out of lac so that is known as lakshagra which was inflammable material and they plan to extinguish all the six okay five pandavas and queen kunti of course but their efforts failed everything was in vain because mahatma vidur knew that this is going to happen and he had sent somebody <laughs> if you know who he sent and what that person had in his hand by which yudhishthir maharaj understood that they are planning to burn us then please write it in the comments i will not say the whole story it will take long time so then they were somehow saved so this is how krishna had saved them then when again this instance comes of the disrobing of draupadi in case of draupadi's uh, that's famously known as vastra haran krishna protected her honor by giving her unlimited sari <laughs> so many instances krishna protects the pandava so many many times okay so the list is very long but there's something very interesting which is written here that the conclusion is that Krishna endows more favor to a devotee who is in greater dangers sometimes he puts his pure devotees in such dangers because in that condition of helplessness the devotee becomes more attached to the lord the more the attachment is there for the lord the more success is there for the devotee so basically what it said here that 
Krishna's mother was in distress. Father was in distress. Kunti Devi was in distress. Panda was very in distress. Draupadi was in distress. But what's their beauty? What is the difference between Yudhishthir Maharaj and Duryodhana? And people like Dushasana, Karna, Shakuni. The difference is that all of them had scriptural knowledge. But when it came to actually being righteous, following the truth, the Pandavas only followed. The Kauravas did not follow. Even though they were so wealthy, they were so much prosperous, but they were never satisfied. They always had the greed. But in case of the Pandavas, we see that even though there were so many difficulties, Yudhishthir Maharaj became a pauper. He became less than a beggar, in fact. In one one evening, that was everything was taken away from him. He was the undisputed. He was the Chakravarti Samrat, which means he was the undisputed emperor of the entire world. And then he became a slave to Duryodhan. Can you imagine? That's terrible, actually. But even then, when Bhima and Arjun goes to him and says that there are statements, and then they got 13 years of exile. Yes, 12 years of exile and one year of incognito. And then Yudhishthir Maharaj is sitting and meditating one day and Arjun and Bhim goes to him and says that there are statements in the scriptures which say that in extraordinary cases 13 days is equal to 13 years. So now we have finished 13 days. Let us go and attack Hastinapur. Now Yudhishthir Maharaj could have said yes, let's do that. But he said no, I will not do it. We have got a punishment and we have to we have to follow it. That's the rule. That's the law. Just for our personal sake, I cannot turn and twist the rules. Even if it seems like that. So that is that is who Yudhishthir Maharaj is. He is like Dharmaraj. That is why he is known as Dharmaraj. And then we also see Kunti Devi. Yes, nothing is there. We see the example of Draupadi. So, so much suffering these personalities had undergone. Unlimited suffering beyond comprehension. You cannot imagine what they have gone through. Because we have never gone even 1% of that. What to speak of 1%? It's like 0. Take the example of Draupadi. She has been publicly humiliated and she was almost disrobed. That was what her predicament was. And finally Krishna saved her. And after the Kurukshetra war, Ashwatthama had killed all the five sons of Draupadi. And also her brother, Dhrishtadyumna, was killed by Ashwatthama in the dead of the night. And Dronacharya had killed her father, Drupad. So Draupadi's situation is, was so precarious. Just imagine, except her husband's, nobody survived. Father dead, brother dead, sons dead. Can you imagine? That was the predicament of this lady. But somehow the Pandava survived. That is all she had after the war. Nothing else was there with her. She was completely finished. Can you imagine a mother? Five children, they chop off their necks. You cannot imagine. Only if you are a mother listening to this, probably you can just comprehend or somebody who has lost their child can maybe understand but imagine your child is murdered that to five at a stroke we can't imagine <laughs> but the conclusion is that Krishna bestows more favor to a devotee who is in greater dangers so these personalities exemplify the fact that when there is greater danger, when there is greater suffering, when there is greater sorrow, we go and take more shelter of God. We do not run away into materialistic things. So that's the secret, you see. When you are having problems in life, because Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Dukhalaya Mashashvatam Napnuvanti Mahatmana Samsiddhim Palamam Gata That 
माय डियर अर्जुना दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज दुखालया हिमालया इज व्हाट हिमालय पर्वत वी नो हिमालय माउंटेन्स हिम इज बर्फ आइस आलय इज अ प्लेस हिमालय पुस्तक आलय इज लाइब्रेरी सिमिलरली कृष्णा सेस दुखालय दिस वर्ल्ड इज अ प्लेस ऑफ दुखा एंड ही आल्सो सेस ये ही सम स्पर्श जाभो गान दुखयो नयए वते आद्यंतवंत कौनते या नते शूरमते बुधा यही समस्पर्श जा भोगा दुख ही होना यही बात है द सेंस ऑफ टच व्हिच बेसिकली रेफर्स टू द प्लेजर ऑफ सेक्स दुख ही होना यही बात है इट इज द रूट कॉज ऑफ ऑल दुख बिकॉज बाय दैट यू डेवलप अटैचमेंट आद्यंतवंत कौनते या देर इज आदि एंड अंत देर इज बिगिनिंग एंड द एंड Sex pleasure does not last for eternity. Nate shura mate budha. An intelligent person does not delight in this, which means that we are allowed to procreate, have children, but one who uses sex for recreation is destined to suffer. Dukha yo na ei bate. Have you seen in the materialistic society today? premarital sex or within marriage or they have extra marital affairs see what's happening to the society there no family is no trust marriage is a falling apart it's a disaster basically what's happening and then people are getting into depression they have been abused so many things are happening my god mental abuse physical abuse torture so many rapes are happening so many women are getting abused sexually see what is happening so that's what krishna says If this pleasure, this, the sense of touch, ये ही सम स्पर्श, स्पर्श ही टच, okay? If that is not under control, दुखा ही होना ये बात है. You will only have misery. Anybody who indulges in illicit sex, just go and check their lives. Miserable always. I have seen people. Mind is crying. I want this. I want this. ये चाहिए, वो चाहिए. No peace of mind. Zero. Anybody who has indulged in illicit sex, just go and see them. Their mind is totally disturbed. All the time they are just. <laughs> Anyways, change the topic. So, the point here is that whenever we are having difficulties in life, which is sure to come, because Krishna says in the Gita that this world is a place of misery. Okay, so when you sit in the toilet, you don't expect a very soothing smell, right? We know what is the smell which comes when we go to the toilet. So. This material world is like that, but then he says, "Snapto anti mahatma na sam siddhim paramam gata." That if you take my shelter, you can cross over this material world. And Krishna also says, "Daivi he cha guna mai mama maya duratya mama va me pa pradyante maya me tam taranti te." And before that, he says, "Tribir guna maiir bhavaer." All right. So there are three modes, man. these modes are very difficult to overcome which means it's almost impossible to overcome but then he says if you take shelter if you take refuge unto me you will be able to clear them very easily okay so when we have difficulties we have a chance to go more closer to god provided we do our spiritual practices regularly diligently sincerely seriously without ulterior motives only then is the chance that we can go close to god even when there are difficulties because generally you see a person who is very happily married he has a beautiful loving chaste wife <laughs> which is rare in kali yuga but suppose he has and he has two kids you know one boy and one girl were saying papa papa mama mama <laughs> Yes, and he has lot of name, fame, respect in the society. He has lot of money. He has the Rolls Royce Phantom, that vehicle, that most sought vehicle. <laughs> Then you go and tell him that, "Hey, Mister X Y Z, can you please come? We have a program. We have a Bhagavad Gita lecture in our temple. Can you please come and attend?" He will say, "Oh, it's my wife's birthday. You know today." Today is thirteen February and tomorrow is fourteen February. We are celebrating Valentine's Day. Our children are also coming, so we have to celebrate. You know, Valentine's Day will not come every day. Gita lecture I can attend any time. Not now. Next week I will attend. Go. 
then you go to next week he's like oh my uh, son's birthday is there you know oh my daughter just cleared an uh, exam you know she was first in the class so i have to celebrate that also geeta to i can attend any time <laughs> but suppose there's a divorce or there's a breakup or there's a split then is like, oh my god <laughs> the world has collapsed where is god my god oh my god where is god my god <laughs> so then we have a chance that we actually uh, try to look to god okay so now the thrust of the topic here is not that we pers- we ourselves go and give suffering to ourselves oh everything is fine you know let just let's just go and create some problem no it, it doesn't mean that it means that when problems are coming naturally of its own accord we do our spiritual practices diligently and by that we pray to god and by that we understand that this material world is a place of misery and by that we seek higher happiness athato brahma jigyasa as it is said in the scriptures tene brahma hridaya adikavaye muhyanti atasuraya bhagavatam's first verse okay so that is how you go close to god when you can remember him during your suffering intensely remember not just his form but you remember the words of the scriptures and you understand the philosophy that if you want ultimate happiness you will only get it when you obtain spiritual elevation and the highest is when you obtain perfection okay so that is the answer to the question okay so i hope you liked it and if you liked it then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to go closer to god fast <laughs> and if you are new to the channel and if you are not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career marriage or anything else then you can please go to my website you will find the link to my website in the description section of my videos below okay Until next time with another video bye bye see you